Hey, what's up guys? This is Jordi and welcome to another Premiere Pro tutorial. Um, I had a request from, uh, I think his name is Gregory. Um, he asked me how to make a vignette in Premiere Pro. Um, so, some kind of uh, color math that will fit onto your video with a nice edge on it. Um, well, let's get started um, and I'll show you how to do it. Um, by the way, I'm using uh, Premiere Pro CS4 but I think uh, everything I will show you um, can be done in any version. So I think in CS1, CS2, CS3. Okay. Um, well, we're going to start by making a shape balloon. Uh, so we're going to add a color map. Press OK. And we're going to make a background color. So the background color has to be uh, very different from your border color. So if I uh, wanna, wanted to have a uh, red border, uh, Border, I say we're gonna take a uh, a green background. Okay, gonna press OK. I'm gonna name it to background green. Uh, I'm gonna add another uh, import item. So uh, so just right click on it uh, right here. Say new item, a uh, color matte. Uh, okay, I'm gonna take red one in this case. I take red border. All right. Uh, I'm going to move this one in my sequence, in my timeline. So we're going to take the red border and move it onto video channel 1. Uh, I'm gonna, then I'm going to take my background green color mat. I'm going to move it on top of it. So in video channel 2. And now we're going to make a border into it. So we do this by taking the edge. So if you type in edge in the effect control, you'll find rough and edges in the stylized map. Uh, just drag rough and edges onto your green one, okay? Uh, open up the rough and edges control and uh, increase the border, let's say, to 200. Um, go to scale with whatever you want. Uh, and then I'm going to also move the motion a bit smaller. Uh, if you think out the uh, uniform scale, you can pick a different uh, scale width and scale height. going to move it a bit smaller, like something like this. Uh, there we go. We got a nice border, or we got a shabloon. Because now we're going to use this shabloon into a video that will create a border in our video. So we're going to add a, another sequence. Uh, so we're going to right click, say new item, sequence. I'm going to call it border. Okay. Um, here it is, our sequence. This is the other one, sequence one. We made our shabloon in. So we're going to drag the sequence 1 into our border sequence. Uh, so I named it border in this case. Uh, I'm going to scale it a bit up. Um, I'm going to move the... Uh, I mean, I'm going to uh, increase the scale width so it fits up. There we go. And now we're going to uh, drag, drag our video on it. But first we're going to drag our sequence 1 onto video channel 2. And if we've done that, uh, I'm going to drag my little video into video channel 1. Okay, going to trim it a bit. Um, now we're going to remove the green color right here. And we do this by searching after the color key effect. Um, here it is. Drag it onto your sequence. Open up your color mat and pick the green color. There we go. Now increase the color tolerance and you already see what's it doing. Um, by the way, this is a video from our upcoming uh, animation film. It's uh, an in-game recorded. It's from the game World of Warcraft. And uh, we've made an animation video in it. So everyone is very exciting to watch this video. Um, I'm going to increase the motion of this, by the way. Um, I'm going to increase the scale a bit. So it actually fits up. There we go. So um, now we've got this border. And uh, this green isn't only to remove, but we can also make nice things with that green. Uh, well, can, you can increase the color tolerance to maximum, so your green is away. But I actually don't want it to be away. Um, let's bring it back to 100, so we see a little green. And we're going to increase the edge a feather. Let's see what this does. Whoa, ain't tight looking great. Now we've, we have a uh, red border with actually some nice, uh, with a green touch on it. Yeah. 
Um, we can also uh, animate this border, by the way. If we go back to our sequence one, our shabloon, actually, we're going to animate our shabloon. And we do this by go into your uh, green background color mat, uh, where the effect rough and edges on is on. We're going to open it. Uh, we go to the beginning on our timeline. And let's say we're going to animate the border and scale, for example. Okay. Uh, go to the end of it. And let's say the border. Uh, Let's, uh, let's increase it even more, okay? And then the scale, uh, let's bring the scale down to 10 or something. Oh yeah, this is looking great. Uh, no, well, let's see what uh, that thing has done to our uh, chabloon in our border one. Uh, so okay, well, this is... Oh yeah, I'm sorry, uh, I just animated it. Uh, so, in the beginning it's still the same. But if we go forward in time, you'll see our border is changing, changing even more, even more. On to the end, we have actually this, okay. So, that's one thing you can do with um, with this thing, with the uh, rough and edges. Um, I'm going to remove the rough and edges effect. And I'm going to add something else on it. If you type in garbage point, so actually over or garbage mat, you will see there uh, you have an 8, a 4 and a 16 point garbage mat effect. So um, you can actually key your uh, mat out on 16 points, 4 or 8 points. I'm going to pick the 16 point garbage mat in this case. I think this is a, this is a new effect uh, from the uh, from CS4. I'm not sure if uh, CS3 also has this one. Uh, well that's up to you to find it out. Um, I'm gonna select my 16 green uh, garbage mat and I'm gonna replace the um, well these things. Okay. I'm gonna make some nice f oh whoops. I'm gonna make a nice figure out of it. A nice balloon. All right. Um, well, I'll leave the creative minds to you guys. I'm just gonna make something. <laughs> Oh yeah, isn't that Shabloon looking very nice? I don't know what it is, but um, hey. Okay, uh, I go back to my border and this is our new border. Uh, okay, our new Shabloon, our new vignette uh, in Premiere Pro. <laughs> okay, uh, so if you don't want the green, you can always uh, remove the feather and increase your tolerance up to the maximum so you don't see the green. But uh, I don't really recommend that as that green. That's actually very cool. Okay, um, I've got one other thing. Uh, so this is those are some examples. If you find more in your effect control, uh, some more effects, what you can do with your border or with with keying or or whatever. Um, very good. <laughs> okay, uh, but I'm going to show you some other way to do it. Uh, not with a uh, mat, so we're gonna remove my. I'm sorry. I'm gonna remove uh, the sequence right here. So I I only got my video. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna move a picture on it. I've got this egg. Well, I thought it's almost Easter in a couple of months. So why don't I make a tutorial with a Easter egg in it? Cool. Okay. So I'm gonna remove the pink color in this case. Gonna show you. It's gonna pick color key. There it is. Oh, this is just a picture I found on Google, and I've uh, made a pink uh, background on it. <laughs> um, I'm gonna remove the um, pink color, but not everything on it. Okay. Well, yeah, everything. Uh, doesn't matter because if I increase the edge, uh, the feather. You will see it will have a little glow effect on it. Whoa, that's looking great. I'm gonna move the uh, color tolerance a bit down. That's very nice. But hey, what's this border doing here? I don't want that. And I don't think you want it either. So I'm gonna remove that uh, border we don't want. I will do this by taking that garbage mat again. But this time I'm just gonna take the four point point garbage mat gonna drag it onto my egg and I'm gonna say um, I'm gonna bring these points a little 
closer to my egg so it actually removes the border and let's see there we go and we have a nice chaplain onto our video okay it's just playing very nice um you can crazy scale if you want um whatever the rest is all up to you um i hope you learned something out of this tutorial um and thank you for watching Oh, by the way, check out our website at yepperdesign.com and check out our blog where you can request any other tutorials, uh, read our news, read on everything we do. Um, well, I'll, I hope you s I see you guys on our website, on our blog, and thank you for watching again.